Hello everyone, this is Michael at AA Medical Store presenting another educational video series. Today we're going to talk about the SDC or the Striker Digital Caption System. Uh, there's been many versions of the SDC over the years and the one that we're going to focus on today is the SDC 3 um, which has been out for a couple of years. So kind of give you the features and the benefits from the SDC Ultra which was the previous version to the SDC3 now currently. One of the biggest improvements for the SDC3 is gonna be the Wi-Fi capability. So the unit itself actually has a built-in Wi-Fi that will grab a Wi-Fi signal from your account. Where this comes into play is if your account is actively doing EMR or electronic medical records. So if they are, you wouldn't need to plug the SDC into a cat5 jack in the operating room you could just send those images over wirelessly with the built-in wi-fi the other nice part about it is the picture in picture mode or the dual channel mode where it can capture two independent video source inputs uh, with that being said you know one of the things in the operating room environment is you obviously have your endo camera which in this case we have it set up with the 1588 but you also have other video sources that you bring in and out of an operating room one of the biggest ones out there currently right now is going to be the davinci robot so a lot of times what surgeons will do is they'll start the case with a striker video system and then they'll switch over to the DaVinci robot. With the SDC3, you have the capability to capture two independent signals at the same time. And then you can almost overlay them for picture in picture capabilities. Where this comes into play would be for a hip arthroscopy. With the hip arthroscopy, when they first start the procedure, they're gonna use the C-arm to see the joint space or to visually get into the joint space. What's nice is that you have the ability to hook the C-arm, which is a video source, input into the SDC, and then you can overlay your picture-in-picture -picture capabilities on top of that. Now, we're gonna go through some of the steps. We're also gonna show you um, a couple of software upgrades. If you've been around a while and you've been in the medical field, You'll know voice control was a big um, kind of jumping point where you could run the devices from a headset and Stryker's version was the Sydney system. Well, they've eliminated the Sydney system now and they've done the voice control through the SDC3 with the device control. Now, unfortunately, it is a software upgrade and it's one dongle software for one unit. So you couldn't just buy one dongle and put it into the 10 units you have it's tied to that unit as soon as you download it to the device a couple of things i want to show you from the main screen of the sdc and right now we're in the capture screen um, we're not going to go through each individual setting in the sdc but what i want to do is i want to focus on the dual channel mode and how you get to the dual channel mode so couple of things you have to do here. Number one is you have to go to your home and then once you're in your home you're going to go to settings and then once you're in the settings you're going to look for channel mode and right now it's set on single so what we want to do is we want to switch that and we want to move it to dual. Now you're in the dual channel mode and you can capture two independent video sources. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your home and then you're gonna go back to current case because if you do new case, it's gonna wipe out all of the patient information that you put in. But if you put that patient information in and you go to current case, it's gonna take you back, but it's gonna change it from single mode to dual channel mode. So we're gonna hit current case and now you can see the screen is a little bit different than a single channel mode. This is a dual channel mode. And with the dual channel mode, you have three options. The first option is gonna be your picture in picture. And for this, when we refer back, I'm gonna show you how we set up the two systems. But right now we have a Stortz CCU in the second channel 
and we have the Striker 1588 in the primary channel. So those are gonna be displayed by P as primary and the S as secondary in your video album. And right now, that's your first option in dual channel mode is the picture in picture. The second option is gonna be an independent mode, but the second option, basically what this option is, is an automatic capture. So as soon as you take an image on channel one, it's gonna automatically take the next image on channel two. So you have to be careful in the second option because if you don't want an image taken on channel two, you don't wanna be in this option. So to get the dual independent channels where you can independently take a picture and you can independently take a video, you would need to be in this last option, which is this. And this is gonna show you, here's your camera for a picture, here is your video, and then to stop the video. This is channel one. This is channel two, and it has the same thing. Camera for picture, record for video, and then stop the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up a camera so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave the color bars on the Storch CCU. So basically asking me to take a P for picture and then I'm gonna line up on something and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a picture. Now, the nice part about the Striker video system is a couple of different ways you can capture an image. The first option is on the actual device itself which is the SDC. So if you hit P, it's gonna take a picture, it's gonna show it live, right? The second option is through the camera head itself. So we're gonna take a picture by just touching the P. And it would take a picture and it would go back to live. We do not have a remote cable hooked up from the CCU to the SDC, so that's why it's not actually capturing it. But if we wanted to capture on the second channel, we would just hit the capture button on the screen and it's gonna capture that Stortz image and then it's gonna go back to live. As previously stated in the beginning of this video, there's a lot of cool things that you can add to your SDC. One of the features that you can add is called device control. And what device control means that you would have a separate software dongle that you would download into the unit. Once you have that software downloaded onto the unit, you're gonna see this device control is gonna be highlighted. Remember, anything that's grayed out on the SDC means that you cannot perform those functions. So if you get to a certain point and that option is grayed out, means that you either don't have the software or it's not installed correctly. So knowing and seeing that we have the device control set up, we're good to go. The other nice part is the actual image on the monitor. It's going to show you the device control. For this video, we set up the camera and the insufflator to show you um, the actual options that you can do on it. But also with the device control, you're going to have a remote. Where the remote is nice is if you're a single circulator in the room and you don't, you're tied to stand there by the video tower turn the light source on, turn it on standby, activate the light source, turn it on standby, on off, on off. Once you plug in a camera system, you're pretty much good to go. But the light source, turning it on and turning it off is a command that the sterile field needs you to do. And with the ability with the remote, you have the ability to do that. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we've set up three devices on the SDC, three. We've set up your camera box, or the CCU, we've set up the insufflator, and we've set up the light source. And all of those are running through a USB cable from the actual device and source into the SDC3. And those are all controlled through the remote. So if we wanted to start or stop the insufflator, you have an insufflator button right here, you would start it. Insufflator activated. The device is gonna let you know that it's activated and then you could stop it. So then it's gonna stop. If you wanted to change from low flow to high flow, you could do that by hitting that button. Every time you hit a button, it's gonna let you know and it's gonna give you that voice recognition 
that it's actually doing something. So it's kind of nice if you're on the other side of the room and they want to turn the insufflator up or down or turn it on or turn it off, activate, stand by the light source, or even take a picture. So since we have the CCU or the camera control unit hooked up, we can now take pictures through the remote. And you'll notice on the remote, it has two channels, channel one and channel two. So if I wanted to take a picture on channel one, it's gonna take it, it's gonna flash back to live. If I wanted to take it from channel two, It's gonna take it, it's gonna flash back to live. So the remote gives you some options so you're not tied standing to the side of the video cart. Device control is very nice. Have the ability to run devices from the remote control. And then you also have your on-screen display that will show you. Where the on-screen display comes in is the next part of this video where we'll start the voice activation. So this is device control it's a software upgrade. The next one is gonna be a voice control, which is another software upgrade. So now we're into voice control, right? Voice control, uh, again, used to be called Sydney, but they've now set it up so you can run it through the STC3. One of the things that you're gonna to have to have is a headset, and that's basically a setup. You plug it into the audio jack of the STC3, you plug in the control box for the Jabra headset. Once you get the Jabra headset, the surgeon's gonna put the headset on, and then to activate the devices, you would just say device control, device control. Then it's gonna give you the options up here. So basically we wanna do insufflator, activate. It's gonna turn the insufflator on, and then when you wanna stop, you're gonna hit stop. So gives you commands, voice commands, but it also lays it out for you. So we're gonna do exit. Then we're gonna do light source and we're gonna activate, activate. It's gonna let you know that the light source is activated. If you wanted to put it on standby, you would say standby. So if you want to take a picture through the voice control, you would say device control, digital capture, capture image. And it's going to capture on channel one. So the device itself is hooked up to dual channel, but the secondary channel is independent. So you would need to manually take that image or picture. But as you can tell with the voice control options, you definitely have some options and the surgeon has more control in the operating room to control the devices that are on the non-sterile field. So he's obviously scrubbed in, his scrub tech is scrubbed in. Uh, you have a single circulator in the room. She can't stand by the video tower the entire case. So it gives him some options. Again, another software upgrade for the device, but it definitely has a lot of practicalities that you don't normally have with just a first generation device. The other, the other highly effective piece of hardware is a DICOM software. Basically what the DICOM software does is it communicates with the PAC server either in the hospital or at a doctor's office, anywhere that has a PAC server. The DICOM software allows the images and videos to be sent over electronically to a PAC server. So again, DICOM is a separate software that you would need to purchase with the device. Once you have the device and you have the DICOM set up, then you would need IP addresses and you would need all that to be able to send those images over, but it has that capability. So a lot of different things can happen with the SDC3 um, that weren't available in the past. One of the things that we did to set up this monitor was to show you the picture in picture capabilities of the monitor. So basically what you would want to do is you would want to hit this, you would want to scroll to image effect 
And then you would want to go to PIP. You would want to hit that, get a red dot, and now you're in the PIP mode. So as you can tell, you can move the box around, but basically right now how we have it set up is we have a stored CCU running from the camera box to the monitor, and then we have your STC3 running to the monitor. But you would be able to see picture in picture. Where this comes into play is doing a hip arthroscopy, and this would be your C-arm image. So you would have your C-arm image that would show you the joint space, but then you would have the endo image that would show you inside the actual joint space. So two totally different capabilities, but it is possible through the Striker system. So we've gone over a lot of options with the STC3. There's a lot of things to remember. Hopefully this video has helped you at least get started. Please reach out to someone at AA Medical Store for more information. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.